Hello, hello guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to the weekly Kaguya Summer Review. It is now chapter 277. In the previous chapter, we see the contents of Hayasaka's dream. It was okay, but the fact that it was all a dream made me feel a bit unhappy. This chapter's title is Miko Ino and Yu Ishigami's last chapter. Finally, we get to the chapter about Ino again. So, in this chapter, Ino was having a crisis since he has to fill the current student council. Since third year, like Kaguya and Chika, has to focus on their study, it is out of the picture to recruit them. Usually, the position in the student council would be filled easily and would consist of previous member, the new president's campaign speaker, the other candidates, or even the president's personal friend, Kobachi, who is both Ino's friend and her campaign speaker doesn't have any interest in joining the student council and the other candidate is so stupid she could abuse her power if she joined in the blonde girl whose name I forgot also refused now the consequences of Ino's lack of friends hit her in the face she couldn't think of anyone else well this is to be expected since Ino spends most of her time being the enforcer of school law it is good if you want to be seen as good students by the teacher, but among your peers, yeah, good luck with that. Many will avoid you since you're an annoying person to them. In Shirokane's case, I think it was pretty easy. He chose Kaguya, of course, one of the reason is because he had a crush on her. And he also constantly compete for the number one spot in the exam. Fujiwara Chika was Kaguya's lifelong friend, so it was easy to recruit her. For Ishigami, he helped him during his fallout after the incident in his middle school. Ishigami felt like he wanted to return the favor by helping Shirogani in the student council. But in Ino's case, since he was too focused on enforcing the school rules, she forgot to socialize with her peers, resulting in this problem she is having. She then sees Ishigami reading a book in one of the hallway. We then get a brief flashback. Ishigami told both Ino and Kaguya that she won't be rejoining the student council because he's a bit torn. When the president asked him to join in, it was because he has no place to belong to, so he wants to hang out with him in the student council. But now that Shirogane is in Stanford, Ishigami doesn't have an obligation anymore. He does have one promise to Kaguya about being the top of his grade. So right now, he wants to focus on his study. This was a shock to Ino. The boy who once don't give a shit about his study, now are trying his hardest to be the top of his class. Ino felt a bit annoyed since he assumed that he will support her by her side when she became a president. Ino imagined herself asking Isigami to join her student council. But her way of inviting him is too rude. I mean, yeah. Who would not get annoyed when someone asked for a favor like that? But when Ino tried to imagine herself being honest, she sounds like she is confessing to Ishigami. I don't think that we're gonna get the same back and forth for dimension mental chess like Kaguya and Shirogane. Even though Ino is smart, I don't think Ishigami cares about the one who confessed first lose. So yeah, this will be a short resolution for the both of them. Both of them then stop after seeing a freshman that get bullied. Someone hide his shoes. When Ino wants to step in, Ishigami stopped her and said that he will take care of this in his own way. This freshman was a scholarship student, just like Shirogane. So of course, some of his classmates doesn't see him as unequal. Anyway, Ishigami said that helping him without considering his feelings is not the right thing to do. He adds that the reason the victim of bullying don't tell anyone are because they still value their own pride. So, being seen as a victim and getting help because of that might hurt him more. Ishigami then helped the new students find his shoes. Ishigami told Ino that he needs to look the situation around him. If they knew what made him be outcasted like this, then they can step in to help. Who is this guy? He's now telling someone how to solve bullying. Ishigami then said that to be where he is now, he was helped by many people who go so far as to help a total stranger like him. And yeah, we can see that. 
I'm sure Shirogane doesn't even know about Ishigami's skill in the first place, yet he helped him because he knew that Ishigami was innocent. The cheerleader club helped him, giving him another place to belong, even after hearing the rumor about him. Ishigami decides that it is his turn to be that kind of people who helps others. Ino then asks the question about asking him to join the student council. At first, she said that the student council need him, but then she became honest and said that she needs him by her side. Okay, wow, this is a good ass chapter. I rate it 9.5 out of 10. I hope this resolution about Ino and Ishigami last for 3 chapters but it seems we only get 2 chapters out of it but if the chapter's quality was this good well i guess i can accept it what do you guys think about this chapter tell me in the comments below i would love to hear what you guys have to say about this chapter and that will be it for this video don't forget to leave a like and see you guys in the next video